Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop. Today, we are gonna be tying the Gurgler. For hooks, I like to use two different kinds of hooks, the Daiichi 2546 size six, or the uh, A-Rex SA220 size eight. Uh, they're both about the same size, and uh, either one, great premium hooks, uh, they're great. For the tail, we're gonna be using uh, craft fur, and you can use a lot of different colors for this, but today we're gonna be using a cream color for the tail with a peach light bright angel hair type material over the uh, over the tail for the body a uv estes in peach and then over the back uh, the white foam Okay, for the flash, you can always cut flash out if you have too much of it. And I'm gonna end up trimming it here. So it's just like that. Okay, here I've cut a strip of foam from my, my sheet and um, just going to use half of this and I want it to be fairly long because I'm going to fold over the lip so uh, first what I'll do is I'll make a little bit of a triangle here on the on the back side of it, it makes it a little bit easier to tie in doesn't clump up the fly as much so tie the foam down work your way back there okay here's my uv estes i just leave it on the card if it's carded let's tie it in and i'm going to work my thread up here to the front and i can either use the rotary or uh or just wrap it but i'm going to actually use the rotary here it's nice because it gives me an extra hand to be able to keep those fibers from getting wrapped under by the core of the material. Don't crowd the, don't crowd the front of the eye too much. You want to leave some space. Okay, and then I'm going to fold my, my foam over. Let it kind of dig into that foam, some steady pressure, make a couple wraps, make a couple wraps in the front, then this part, to get that nice front lip, just fold that foam over, steady pressure so it kind of digs into it, hold the lip up. Couple wraps in the front. And there we go. Whip finish. There it is. Great little topwater fly for sea run cutthroat trout.